Hello everyone, I've decided it's time to sort out my garage and I'm going to turn it into a bike cave. I mean just look at the state of it, I've got things everywhere, nothing's organised and I've got the hardtail now, I've got an extra bike, I need to find somewhere to keep it. So I'll see you after the intro. So, first things first, and I need to sort out some bike storage, but I need the storage solution to be hinged. As you can see, I've got quite a narrow garage, and if the bike just sticks out from the wall like this, I haven't really got very much space. So I need the bikes to be able to fold flat against the wall. So I'm going to make my own bike storage, and I'm going to do that by cutting up some old 2x4 that I've got left lying around, and some 18mm ply. I've also bought some 35mm dowel and that's going to be the part that the bike hangs off. Okay, so this is what I've cut. I've got a piece of 2x4 which I've cut down. I've got a piece of 18mm ply which I've cut down and a piece of 35mm dowel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this, I'm going to screw through the side and put that there. Then I'm going to drill through and insert the dowel through the plywood, so that can be like that through the plywood. And then the wheel of the bike is going to go over this. This is going to be upright on the wall, like this, so the front wheel will hang off it. And then this whole assembly is going to be hinged to be able to turn the bikes out of the way. That's the plan. Let's see what it turns out like. Okay, so I've just done a quick measurement and drawn around the dowel. I need to find the centre of the hole now, so this hasn't got to be exact. If I turn the circle into a square, it'll help me, or should help me, find the middle of the hole. And I can simply join the corners up. There we go, I've got the centre of the hole, I know exactly where to drill. Okay, so I'm cutting on top of an old piece of, of pallet wood. So I don't go all the way through, and if you cut just over the edge of something like that, and you go all the way through, it'll splinter all the back, and I don't want that to happen. It does fit, but it's tight. It needs a bit of, uh, shall we say, persuasion. Get in there. So I've got all my pieces cut, I've got the dowel fitted, it's just a case of screwing it together now. So I'm going to clamp it together, I'm going to pre-drill the holes and then just use three screws down that back edge to screw the two pieces of wood together. Now I am by no means a DIY expert, but if you're doing something like this, from my experience I would definitely recommend pre-drilling the holes, as you risk splitting the wood just driving the screws in without having pre-drilled. There we go, I'm just going to make sure the bike fits on it now, just to be extra secure. A little bit of wood glue. I'm using quite a lot of wood glue and I'm going to push it into the gap with the tissue just to make that dowel a little bit more secure. Leave that to dry. So I've built four of these, one for my wife's bike, one for my full sus, one for the hardtail and one for my road bike. And it's going to be trial and error fitting it on the wall. As you can see, my garage door moves up and over. I want the bike to be able to hinge out the way, but it's also got to be clear of the garage door. That's two bikes on the wall. Look at that. After fitting the other two, it's time to move on. Okay, so now it's time to sort out this area and get it a bit organised. But to do that, I need to get some wood to make a tool wall. And here's the wood I'm going to be using. I managed to get quite a few free pallets off Facebook Market, but some disassembly is required. And Harrison was supposed to be helping me, but as you can see, he's too busy playing basketball. So I'm on my own with a lump hammer and a crowbar. It's actually quite difficult to break up a pallet without splitting the wood. But now that's done, I need to clear out the garage. So I'm moving everything into the storage boxes to make some space to work. And to save on the amount of drilling I'm doing and the amount of wall plugs I'm using, I'm gonna put some stud work on the wall and then attach all of the separate planks to this stud work. So once the stud work was on the wall, which again was just some scrap pallet wood, it actually went up really quickly. I'm going for the rustic look, so I didn't really mind which lengths I used. The only difficult bit was cutting around the plug, which a jigsaw made quite light work of that. And as you can see, it's really starting to take shape and it is looking really good. 
and now it's time to start looking at how I'm going to put my tools on the tool wall and I'm going to make some custom tool storage for my Allen and Torx keys. I've borrowed a bench drill to do this so I can drill some holes nice and straight through the wood and then I'm going to attach these pieces of wood to the wall using these L brackets and then each of my Allen keys and Torx keys can just sit in here and they're nice and easy and accessible whenever I need to do a quick job on a bike. And the same with my spanners, I've made this storage solution using an old piece of roofing lath and then just some metal hooks which I got from Wix. This is really easy to put together and keeps everything nice and organised. And no workshop is complete without a vice, so let's fit one to the workbench. The only thing left to do now is to fit some better lighting so I can actually see what I'm doing. And it is finished, just look at that, what a difference that makes. I've got the majority of my tools all set out in easy reach on my tool wall and I've got most things I'm going to need for completing maintenance on my bikes. With some additional storage in my good old trusty tool chest which I've actually still got from when I used to ride motorbikes and do my own maintenance on those. And my bike storage idea is really working well, I've still got room to get a bike upon the stand to work on and the rest of the bikes just fold out the way. There's my road bike, there's my hardtail my full sus and then that just leaves my wife's bike which is still folded up against the wall. So I am really pleased with the way all this has turned out. It's actually turned out better than I thought it would. Why don't you drop us a comment down below and tell us about some of your bike caves. If you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed click the picture of the mountains down below to do so and why not click over there to have a look at some of our other videos. And we'll see you again soon.